Productions on the inside, closest to us in the amphitheater. We have Catalina. She's super happy to be here, and thanks to our fantastic. She's working with trainer Kim today, and she is the mother to one of our two pups who were born here last year. On the high rock, she loves the spotlight, but she'll never fish for compliments. Straight out of California is Callie. Callie was wild born in California. However, the mother couldn't take care of her, and so she was abandoned as a pup. But she was rehabilitated at the Marine Mammal Training Center, came to Memphis Sioux a few days, months later, and has called it home ever since. And she's working with Trainer Allison today. Over on the glass on the right side, my side, we have Remy. Remy is smart, she's funky, and she is the full package. She's working with Trainer Kelsey today. She is the other mother to the other one of our two pups who were born here last year. And then on the other side, um, we have trainer Aaron working with our one and only male, Andre. Andre, give us There you go, giving y'all a good hello today. Andre is 25 years old, which is about 10 years older than the average lifespan of our wild sea lions, and he is over 700 pounds. He could get a little bit heavier, but that's okay. He doesn't mind the extra poundage. He has no shame in his game. So one of the biggest questions you get here at the Memphis Zoo is, are these seals or sea lions? And that is a perfectly okay confusion to have. Seals and sea lions are both pinnipeds along with walruses, and that basically just means mammals with flippers. So our sea lions are gonna help you guys figure out the differences between them. So the first main difference that can help you tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion is their ears. So where seals have ear holes, our sea lions here have external ear flaps. A good way to think about that is the lions at the front of our zoo have nice outside ear flaps, and so do our sea lions here. The second main difference is the way our sea lions move on land. So sea lions have really large, powerful front flippers that they can actually support their weight on if they'd like to. They can also tuck their back flippers underneath them to walk on all four on the land. Seals don't have very large, powerful front flippers, and so the way they move on land is kind of like an inchworm scooching along the ground. Perfect seal impersonation, Callie, thank you. The third way to tell the difference is the way the sea lions move in the water. So again, they have those really large, powerful front flippers, and so they're able to push themselves through the water, streamline their bodies, and be very efficient swimmers. Seals rely more on their back flippers as their powerhouse, kind of like a butt wiggle. Callie's showing you a good swim there. Now these things that differentiate sea lions from seals are also what helps them out in the wild. Some of their natural predators include sharks and killer whales. And so being really powerful, agile swimmers, it's what's gonna help them avoid those predators, outmaneuver them, catch their food, and possibly just show off with their friends. So you're seeing a lot of behaviors out here with our sea lions and our trainers. Now why do we train these behaviors? There's a number of different reasons. One of them is for mental stimulation. Sea lions are very social and intelligent animals, and it like, we like to keep them on their toes. The first is physical exercise. Of course, these guys aren't having to hunt for their food, and so we like to keep them in their very best shape so they can stay healthy. The third reason is we like to build a really good relationship with our sea lions. We learn a lot about them, they learn a lot about us, and it's great fun. And the fourth, and possibly one of the most important, is for husbandry behaviors. And so if we ever need to ch um, check up on our sea lions, do an x-ray, an ultrasound, or a blood draw, we are able to do that, get nice and close to our sea lions, um, touch up on them, check on them, look in their mouth, and make sure everything's looking okay. And so these behaviors are super important for our sea lions because they're able to voluntarily participate in their own health care. So how do we train these behaviors? It's through a technique called operant conditioning, which is a training method built on positive reinforcement. In other words, when the sea lions do something we ask from them, they get a reward, and that reward is a big, juicy fish. So fish is their main diet on the wild. It's 